Hey there, amazing developers. In today's video, we're diving deep into the world of QB Core Server Customization. I've got something special for you. We'll be changing the multi-character system and enhancing the spawn feature using a fantastic free script. But before we get started, let's take a moment to appreciate the incredible support from our community in the last video. Your engagement, likes, and comments keep this journey alive, and I'm truly grateful. Now, if you haven't watched the video about the installation of new loading check in the top for the link. Now, without further ado, let's explore the exciting possibilities of character customization and spawning in our QBCore server. I'm Brave, and this is your QBCore development adventure. To get the new script, head to the multi-character link in the description. This is Renzu's multi-character free script, and it's fantastic. All thanks to Renzu. Now, go ahead and download the file. Once downloaded, unzip it and copy-paste it into our Kubi Core base. I prefer pasting it in the QB folder, because this QB folder starts first in our terminal. And yes, we need this script to run first. Rename the folder and remove the words main. Next, delete the old QB core multi-character. Go to the multi-character folder and open the config file. Honestly, there's nothing big to change for beginners. It's a simple drag and drop script. Here, you can decide whether you need a spawn selector. I'm going to put true because I'm using Renzu spawn. If you want to use the default QB spawn, change it to false. You can change the intro by adding a new YouTube link and let the config cam remain true because the starting camera angles are very good. The camera intro part allows you to set the camera locations you desire by adding new Vector3 coordinates. Further down, there's the config delete option. Set it to true if you want players to delete characters and false if not. Adjust the number of character slots. I'll make it three. As you go down, you'll see other settings. As I mentioned, it supports ea 6 and its code is also given here. Below that, there are animations, as it supports animations. Then there are skin menus, so you can paste the exports of the skin menus you use. By default, there are options like QBC Loathing, Skin, and others, such as Illin Appearance and 5 Map Appearance. The script automatically chooses the resource you are using. Further down, there's nothing more to be changed. I will close this. Now open the web folder. Here, you need to add the logo you want. Paste your logo and rename it to Logo. Also, remember to delete the old logo. After completing this, right-click on Index and open it with VS Code. At line 61, you can see a PNG file. We are going to change it to our logo. Simply upload an image to a Discord channel, copy the link, and paste it here. There is nothing else to change in this script. Now let's move on to part two of this video, Renzu Spawn. Go to the link in the description. Please note that by adding Renzu Spawn, you might encounter issues with QB Apartments, and it won't function properly for now. Download the file. I already have it downloaded. Unzip it and copy-paste it to the QB folder, just like we did with multi-character. Remember to delete the QB spawn folder and rename the folder by removing the word main. Now go to the config file. Set multi-character to true if you're using Renzu multi-character. In the lower part, you can add new spawn areas or change the spawn locations. In name, put the name of the image you used. Label is the name of the location players will see. Coordinates are the spawn coordinates. You can change it by adding new Vector4 coordinates. At the end, provide a small description of the location. Now, go back and open the web folder, then the image folder. Add the image you want for the location, and make sure to add the image name in the config file. Let's see how this script works. Reboot your server and enter your server.
While testing the script, I encountered a potential bug. Since I initially set only three slots for character creation, it caused a bug in the new character creation process, as there were no available slots. However, when I went back to the config file and changed it to five, it fixed the bug and the rest of the script worked fine. After successfully creating a new character, players will be seamlessly introduced to QB clothing without any interruptions. This ensures a smooth transition and an immersive experience for players, allowing them to explore the customization options for their characters effortlessly. After creating a new character, you can use the Relog command to seamlessly switch between characters in the game. This feature adds a cool and convenient aspect to your gameplay, allowing you to navigate effortlessly between your created characters. That's it for today's video. We covered how to install the Renzu multi-character script, made some necessary configurations, and explored the additional feature of character spawn. Also, we demonstrated how to switch between characters using the relog command. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more exciting 5M development content. If you enjoy the content and want to support the channel, you can now buy me a virtual coffee on Ko-Fi. It's a fantastic way to show your love and keep our digital journey going strong. Simply click the link in the description to get started. You can tip with PayPal or directly from your card. And yes, nothing comes free. I will make sure to upload some exclusive scripts, videos, and links on Ko-Fi, as YouTube won't allow me to upload certain links and scripts. Your support means the world to me, and I appreciate each and every one of you. I'm Brave, and this wraps up part two of our video series on multi-character and spawn. Stay tuned for more exciting scripts and features in the next videos. Happy developing!